Look at me, I'm a big fat slob. I can't stop eating. Calm down. Calm down. Get a hold of yourself. Don't do your one on the phone. <laughs> Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And apparently we got some people causing other people problems, depending upon how you look at it. So, passenger sparks debate online after charging obese passenger. Is he obese or was he fluffy? That's a good question. Or was he damn? Or, or maybe it was, oh, hell no. <laughs> Uh, you're probably wondering where I got that from. It's only funny if you know where I got it from. Anyway, uh, they want to charge an obese passenger $150 to sit next to him on a flight. Jerk! Anyway, a man has split the internet over an admission that he charged an obese plane passenger $150 for a five-hour flight because a passenger was allegedly taking up quite a bit of the man's seat. How do you charge another person? Did he complain and the airline charged him? Or did he say, Yo, man, you're fat. You owe me 150 bucks if you're going to sit your ass right there. I don't know. <laughs> the anonymous traveler... Of course he'd want to be anomalous. He'd get his ass kicked. The anonymous traveler posted the account on Reddit's Am I the A? Yes, you are. Forum searching for feedback about his alleged actions. So this month, I was flying across the country on a long five-hour flight, which I had booked and seats selected for. I specifically chose an aisle seat and a row of two. So no middle seat, just an aisle and window. The man begins his post before going on to say a very obese man boarded the plane and was assigned the seat next to him. And he looked at him and said, damn, <laughs> I get up and let him in politely, wanting to at least give him a chance. How do you give someone who's obese a chance? It's not like they're going to change in size. I'm going to give you a chance to lose some weight as you're sitting down in that seat. If you can't lose weight, I'm going to charge you 150 bucks. I don't know. <laughs> well, he sits down and is easily seeping. <laughs> that just makes him sound like this ooze that's just kind of seeping down the down the seat. I sit down and I'm pressed up against him, making me uncomfortable. Hey, maybe you should watch that video that I have about the My Pillow CEO because you never know. Maybe it would be the most comfortable sleep you've ever had. After a minute, I decided to be up front and tell him, Sir, I'm sorry, but this situation is not working for me. You're taking up quite a bit of my seat. <laughs> that just sounds rude. Oh my goodness. I, this just ain't working, man. We get we gotta grow, go our own ways. After the overweight passenger tried to be narrow, I guess he tried to lose weight. I mean, oh. I've just sent this way for five hours. The poster said he alerted a flight attendant about the situation. And then the flight attendant said, you better cough up 150 bucks. She instantly tells him that he is likely going to need to purchase another seat. She goes to the front and comes back saying, <laughs> she comes back and say, here's a credit card reader. Just slide your credit card. Uh, she comes back saying there aren't any open seats on this flight. So there wasn't a way to move people so he could have two. The passenger writes in the post. Maybe they should have done that to start off with. Now, I've heard that people who are a certain weight are going to have to buy two seats. So why wasn't that done to start with? You ask me, the problem is with the airline. They didn't do what they were supposed to do. Uh, let's go down here a little bit. The guy seemed embarrassed and didn't want to get up. Maybe he was stuck. 
He mentioned how he can't wait for a later flight. I felt bad for him, but I was also thinking about my own comfort on the long flight. Like I said, you know, just kind of lean up against him, you know, use him as a comfortable pillow. Uh, the comfort I paid for, he continued, saying, stating that the awkward silence caused him to make his seatmate an offer. Okay, so if there's only two seats, uh, I'm guessing he was in first class. Because if you're not in first class, you're probably not going to have a comfortable flight. I don't know of comfortable flights that I've had that weren't first class. I flew in first class once. Once. And that's because the airline screwed up. That's how I got it. And I was a kid. I was a teenager. <laughs> flying on my own to see my grandparents. And... Uh, it was a situation to where the flight got delayed. I wasn't sure where to go because I was on my own. I was a young teenager and my mom got pissed <laughs> and I wound up flying first class on the way home. It was the greatest. <laughs> I had the time of my life uh, first class like every every 10 minutes. Would you like another drink, sir? Absolutely. Give me that Coke. Let me try some Sprite. <laughs> I had a great meal, great snacks. Yeah, it was it was the bomb, man. All right. I told the guy, look, I'll put up with this if you can. <laughs> so he did ask him. He did ask him. Look, I'll put up with this if you give me 150 bucks. <laughs> Who has 150 bucks sitting in their wallet? I know I don't. Give me 150 bucks, man. Oh my goodness. This is just... Is this for real? Is this for real? That's half the cost of this flight and that would compensate me enough for the circumstances. My... <laughs> what nerve. What nerve. Oh my word. Ugh. While the man claims that the overweight passenger in instantly agrees, pulls out cash, and pays him. I I'd slap him. I said, you want 150 bucks? And you go, bam. Uh, I have my kitty. <laughs> oh, my kitty, Talia. And pays him. Those on the anonymous forum were not as pleased with the transaction. They called the poster in, ah, and you can fill in the blank. Yeah. This is ridiculous. You made a scene and embarrassed the man and then made him pay you for a fraction of your seat. You are the epitome of an ass, one commented. The problem here was that this large dude stuck you with being uncomfortable on your flight, right? Well, the $150 didn't make you any less squished in your seat, so it really feels like you just blackmailed this guy for being fat, one wrote. Bingo! Bingo! You hit the nail on the head right there. And, of course, he graciously gave you 150 bucks. He was relieved that some money was going to shut you up and you weren't going to continue to humiliate him for the entire flight. Or worse, get him kicked off this flight. Yeah, jerk! Those on the flight with the man also reportedly called him names under their breath after he proposed the payment. What a jerk. I'm sorry. You know, there are situations where you just have to hit someone, and that's one of them. However, many agree with the traveler's idea, and those are the SJWs. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, the SJWs and liberals are the ones that applauded his compromise. You compromised. He compromised. It was an awkward situation of nobody's making. I think half the cost of the flight was maybe a bit steep, though. If he was only in a third of your seat, having said that, five hours is a long time. Just deal with it. Pussy. Uh, <laughs> guy knew he was fat, could have bought two seats, but didn't. No. The airline should have charged them. That's what they're supposed to do. They didn't. It's not the guy's fault. Original poster let the guy stay on the flight, have enough room to accommodate without paying for two seats, and without the embarrassment uh, and inconvenience of having to get off and wait for the next flight. 
that wasn't fully booked. And that's the end of the article. So, oh my word. Oh my word. What do you guys think of this? What do you think of this? This is absolutely... Man, you want to talk about something controversial, this will be it. Uh, yeah. Let me know. Let me know what you think. I think this is a bunch of BS. Really. I I do agree that this guy was pretty much uh, blackmailed into paying him. Uh, who like like I said, who carries a hundred and fifty? What if the guy didn't have a hundred and fifty bucks on his wallet? Then what? Huh? Then what? What a jerk! All right. Well, anyway, um, let me know what you think in the comments below. The uh, link to this article, which is on FoxNews.com will be in the description so you can check it out yourself other than that thanks for watching this rambling video huh <laughs> and i will see you on another rambling video all kinds of topics that i cover on this channel